Hi everyone, Matt here from CarWow. So I'm sat in a Toyota Supra and look what's next to me. It's the new BMW Z4 because I wanna answer the question everyone's asking, how much different are they in terms of performance? Because let's face it, they're essentially the same car but one's got a hard top, the other one has a soft top. Both use a BMW engine. It's the B58 three litre straight six turbo, 340 horsepower, 500 newton meters of torque, eight speed, automatic, torque converter gearboxes with launch control. <laughs> let's do it, let's launch them. Now, before we do, make sure you're subscribed to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. And also, if you're not receiving notifications, make sure that you've got notifications for YouTube turned on on your mobile device. Oh, it's all so confusing. And so is the difference between these cars because they're essentially the same, really. But let's do it. Let's race them. Oh, I got a good start there. I'm away. Oh, nice change. Oh dear. I've dropped him. And I'm pulling. This can't be right. This cannot be right. The weights are very similar. So this is 1570 kilos, that is 1610. I've got a better start and this was pulling. It was pulling. So then what exactly happened? Well, the Toyota Supra did the standing quarter mile in 12 seconds. While the BMW Z4 took 12.5 seconds. Yeah, I promise you that's as good as I was going to get it. Uh, yeah, that was launch control mode and I pretty much nailed the start as well. So, yeah. What I found interesting was that mine kind of short shifted into second. It did a really good job of managing wheel spin in that change from first to second, which gave me another advantage. But I seem to get off the line quicker than you. Even though it was launch control, there was uh, a little bit of wheel slip um, in first, uh, not in second and beyond. But yeah, the Super definitely got off the line quicker than this thing did. I'll tell you what, let's just do one more of those because I want to ensure that it's consistent for you guys. There's no cheating on the start, no inaccuracy in our responses. Let's, let's just try it again. <laughs> He got a better start that time, but look at this. See ya. I'm telling you, Toyota has got more than 340 horsepower out of this car because I just blew that Z4 away. I let him go, he beat me off the line and then that was that. These cars have the same tires as well, so that's not a factor weight-wise pretty much similar, 40 kilos in it, it's not much. Toyota have breathed on this engine somewhat, they have, and they're just saying it's 340. I'd be surprised if it was less than 380. Sneaky buggers, sneaky buggers. Right then, now we're gonna have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour. Cars are in their normal setting or comfort for the BMW and automatic, so, I'm going to count this in. Three, two, one, go! This kicked down way quicker. And we're going to keep going. I am just increasing my lead over him. Look at this. See if we can get up to the limiter. Now there's not so much in it. Maybe it's all the fake vents in this car are causing drag. But I think we're done. This car's quicker. I actually think it kicked down slightly quicker as well, even though the gearbox was in driving in normal mode. Just seemed to respond a little bit faster than that. And then it was over. Had a lead, kept it, job done. This is quicker. Sorry, BMW fanboys. It's just is. The Toyota is the better BMW. Okay, now we're gonna have a brake test from 70 miles an hour. When we hit the line, full emergency stop, Simple as that. Oh, it's exciting. Here's a line.
Wasn't expecting that. Oh, I think I broke pretty well there, but that Z4 just did better. Now, tyres would not have made a difference in this, in case you're wondering, because both cars are running Michelin Pilot Super Sport, so maybe the M brakes are better than the Toyota brakes, which are Brembo's, or his reaction is better than mine. But it's a decent distance, probably about a metre or so. Wasn't expecting that. Anyway, 2-1 to the Toyota. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little test, and as I said before, make sure you subscribe and come join the CarWire family and hit that bell icon so you're notified notified <laughs> so you're notified that's what i meant to say when we make a new upload because you don't want to miss out on any of this great content do you you don't